besties we need a catch-up so I dyed my hair ginger last week on Friday yeah you probably know that I started therapy this year hey besties welcome back to another video Tamina here and I think we need to begin by just addressing the elephant in the room especially for those ones who don't follow me on Instagram which shame but it's okay it's fine I'll still announce so I dyed my hair ginger last week on Friday yeah and I know you're shocked I know you're like what Tamina your actual hair yeah my actual hair so if that doesn't show you that we have a lot to get into we have a lot to talk about and I don't know what does because besties we need a catch-up we need a quick life update because I don't think I can go on to make videos and just upload um, if I don't come sit down and actually give you guys a quick mini life update so that's what we're going to do today um I lowkey okay not lowkey guy Aki Gen Z's we just use words in the wrong place um I want to do this life update in three parts or like four parts I'm not sure we'll see so first um I need to tell you guys that <laughs> I almost quit YouTube about two and a half weeks ago yeah I literally almost quit YouTube by almost I mean I did quit in my head so I made the decision two and a half weeks ago to quit YouTube and I was actually going to completely stop uploading so let's talk about that and then we talk about the hair we talk about how this came about how this happened and then after that I think I want to quickly just um, respond to the Jumia outfit controversy um, and then after that I want to tell you guys some of the changes I'll be making on this channel so yeah um, let's let's just start Okay, so we need to start at the point where I almost quit YouTube two and a half weeks ago. So let me tell you how that happened. I had actually made the decision, the final decision, to completely quit YouTube. I had decided I was no longer going to be uploading videos on here. I was not going to delete my other ones or anything. I was going to leave those there and just completely stop uploading. And I made the decision, I went to sleep, and now funny thing, funniest thing. The next day, I wake up to an email from the YouTube Creators team inviting me for the YouTube Creators Day in Nairobi for Africa Month, right? I'm thinking, oh my god, wow, um, universe, you really, you really want to see me give this like one more chance. So I told myself, fine, I'll find an outfit, I'll go for the YouTube Creators Day, fine. So I went for the YouTube Creators Day, um, it was great actually, it was organized and of course by the YouTube team and i arrived at this place you know on time everything i sat the first panel of people were your faves you guys so it was like rosina mumo wabosha wakuba miguel and they were telling us all about like how to stay consistent how they got the success like on youtube and all these things like how to maintain success how to achieve success and just their story right and I remember thinking this was really good for like creators like people who are just about to start YouTube or people who are really in their YouTube journey I was trying to find my place as somebody who had decided to quit YouTube but was at a YouTube creators day you know so I was mainly just listening to the advice um, in a way that reflected back to them and not back to me so it's like when they were talking I was really thinking wow I love this for you like look you've achieved success you're out here talking to us about your YouTube channel. You're on an actual YouTube panel. Like, wow. I was just like, you know, love that for you. So we had another panel. There were, again, you guys, your faves. Shay was there from Rwanda. It was good. And I got my decision to not quit YouTube from the funniest, not funniest, but like the most unexpected of places. So we had two performances, one from Bien and then one from Lil Mina. And so when Bien went on, he sang, it was a great performance, guys. We were jamming, you know, it was good. And then Bien decided to give a speech at the end of his performance. And he was talking about how content creation is so important because it's like the hallmark of a generation and content creation in various mediums, right? He was talking about how content and people's stories is going to be the, like, the hallmark of a certain generation so when you look back to this generation it's like this person told their story and this person used to do this and this person used to do makeup and this person you know like you almost hallmark a certain generation and I remember he finished the speech by saying so just remember your work is important 
and don't lose hope. And I, I was there like, being your party make me cry. I was there holding back tears like, yeah, pretending to just film, but like, I was about to cry. And I remember on the, like, on the way home, in the Uber, I just thought to myself, okay, fine. I'm not going to quit YouTube because I feel like Bian sort of like reminded me of the whole reason I started creating, you know, like I just wanted to share my story. I was fresh out of high school. I just wanted to show you guys how it looks to have like self-hate and then start a self-love journey. I wanted to show you guys my journey in, like in university, um, law school and everything. Like I was just having fun and that's why I was so passionate because the main reason I wanted to quit YouTube is because I completely, completely lost my passion, guys. Like, when I tell you I lost my passion, I'm not joking. I was just making videos just, just because there's an uploading day, just because people are asking me, why are you not on YouTube? You know, I was like, okay, okay, I'm going to pick up my camera. I'm going to film whatever. I'm going to edit. And some days I did put effort, but then I was getting tired so quickly. And even to get to that point where I was editing and putting effort, I was pushing myself. Like, it was... I'll push like please to me and just go edit you know and that's how you know you've lost passion because I can't compare that to my past self I used to be so passionate about YouTube I used to be so excited to record I used to be so excited to edit like I would always be searching new ways to edit this and that and then to put out the content like I would be there in my bed like so excited like I couldn't wait to put out my content and I feel like that's the passion I need back because it was so fun and I feel like you guys noticed that I lost my passion as well because engagement went down and when I saw it go down I was like they've definitely noticed they're not dumb they've definitely noticed so yeah um that's the first thing I wanted to update you guys on so I'm not going to be quitting YouTube I'm gonna I'm gonna get back the passion I feel like I already have the passion back a bit but we have to make a lot of changes on here for me to continue and for me to have passion and I'm going to go into the changes um, like last I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm not quitting and I wanted to update you guys on you know the struggles of just being a creator sometimes like it may look all good but then behind the scenes guys you're about to quit so yeah let me just go to the next one which is why my hair is ginger okay so maybe you're wondering tamina why is your hair ginger like are you i feel like the first question everyone usually asks when someone dyes their hair especially like a bright color is are you okay <laughs> are you going through something because i remember um there's a time i was going to dye my my friend's hair and immediately my mom my sister were asking me is your friend okay and i was like yeah they just want a different hair color so let me tell you guys the reason i dyed this hair ginger it's not really the reason but like a background so if you're on my instagram again shame look but if you're on my instagram you probably know that i started therapy this year and um i go every thursday and i have um a female a therapist and the therapy is for childhood trauma you know gen z's childhood trauma it's okay it's fine don't want to glamorize childhood trauma but yeah we all, we all have childhood trauma but yeah so i decided to start therapy you know we're in the healing season guys um healing girl summer you know there's no summer in kenya but you know you get the vibes so yeah i started therapy and in my first session i remember it was so intense so she sits across me and i sit here and i remember the first thing she told me not first thing but after i described a few things here and there she told me okay so tamina um I, I have to tell you this babe so the tamina sitting in front of me right now is not the real tamina and she was like it's a tamina as a result of your environment like this trauma and certain things but the person sitting in front of me right now is not the real tamina and then she added that my mind was stuck in the year the trauma happened and then I was just like living life on autopilot in 2022 but my mind was actually stuck in the year the you know traumatic thing happened so I remember sitting there like no this this is the real me like I was already like defensive and then she gave me like a journaling homework to go home and just write who I think the real Tamina is and as I was journaling this is when I realized she was telling the truth babes was telling the truth because my mind was definitely stuck in the year that it happened and in 2022 i was a la la living life autopilot um 
and I hadn't even taken time to discover who the real Tamina was. I was just like living, you know, again, la 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 living life. So I remember thinking, oh my God, actually, who's the real Tamina? Now, fast forward, um, my third session, um, that was now last week, Thursday, again, very intense, came home, slept, blacked out for hours, like five hours. I woke up and it's like, especially after that session, I felt like, um, a weight had been lifted off my shoulders that session was intense guys so a way i felt like a weight had been lifted off my shoulders and that's why i slept when i came home because it was a lot you know when a lot happens you're just like relax let me sleep <laughs> so i slept i woke up and immediately i just had this urge to dye my hair i don't know why i was like i need to dye my hair and i woke up got off my phone it was like 10 30 i texted spritz hair studio i was like hi can somebody color their hair tomorrow and it just had to be tomorrow i don't know why it had to be tomorrow but it's like my mind was like if it's not tomorrow you know how you get something in your mind and you have to do it the next day or that time because if you don't do it you're not going to do it again for a long time you're going to keep putting it off and that was what was happening at that time it was like it's gonna be tomorrow or like i don't know when i'm gonna convince myself to do this again so you know i texted them 10 30 looks at the time i was like babes there's no way these people are going to actually reply to me at 10 30 i even got the message for hi this is Spirit studio we're gonna get back to you i was like oh, no oh no i should have texted earlier when i got home anyway so i'm lying in bed i'm watching love island at 11 30 i hear like a notification um i check and it's spritz okay i'm like yay they're like we can book you in tomorrow 10 a.m these are the prices great i said even the universe knows it's now or not again like even the universe knows so woke up next day appointment 10 a.m i met sheila by the way she's so nice anyway yeah i met her i talked to alice she's the one who dyed my hair great we chose the colors i wanted ginger but not too bright so we chose the colors i sat and i looked at myself in the mirror when i was getting this hair put on my head and i thought Tamina, wow. <laughs> We're actually doing this. We're bleaching our hair. Anyway, I went through with it. Finished. I came home. I combed it out. And I loved it so much. I was on my phone for like an hour just taking videos and sending them to everyone I know. Uploading it on close friends. Uploading it on my spam. Everything. I, I just felt like I was looking at the authentic 2022 Termina. Like it felt so aligned. I felt like, yeah. I looked at myself and I said, yeah, and that's the best way I can describe it. And I even had this boost of confidence and I just felt like I was more myself with this hair color. And that's why I'm just so excited to have this hair color on my head, guys. You don't even understand. Um, yeah, so that's how the dyeing of my hair happened. Now, the next day we had the junior event. So now I'm going to go into that. Okay, so now my response to my outfit um controversy at the junior event first of all you guys know i love a controversial outfit moment <laughs> but okay let me give you guys a bit of context so junior celebrated their 10th anniversary we the theme was orange um in was supposed to show up to celebrate yeah i showed up i'm gonna put my outfit over here this is what i wore and it was like a hit and miss some people hated it like despise with their chest and then some people really liked it um yeah and i saw i wanted to just kind of like respond to that over here on youtube because i feel like youtube is sort of like my safe space because like i was shown the discussion on edgar's um thing by some people i don't know what it's called the telegram anyway yeah so um for this outfit first of all i feel like let me just give my thoughts on how i feel like i view fashion so for me, I view fashion as self-expression. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be risky. I don't want fashion to become this scary thing where we're shaking in our boots, you know, as influencers, just so scared about what people are going to say about our outfits when we step out. And I'm going to speak for myself. I don't want fashion to be that scary thing where I'm so scared about what people are going to say about my outfit. Because it's like dress up for me, as I said in the exposition video. For me, I'm doing this for fun. It's never that serious. Um, honestly, it's just an outfit for me. And yeah, so I wanted to just first sh tell you guys how I view fashion. So in Kenya, people have sort of turned influencer events into like red carpet um, moments. So it's like when you show up for an influencer event that has a theme, it's like people judge your outfits as if it was like a red carpet event. 
as a, that's the context you need cool so yeah i feel like i don't take the comments to heart because honestly i make a lot of outfit videos and people never like all the outfits that's why i ask what's your favorite outfit because some people will really hate some and then they'll comment there and some people will really like some and they'll comment so i don't feel like i take it too seriously i think my only thing is like the comparison between when people always compare like the nigerian um influencer industry and the south african influencer industry to kenya and i feel like we're not on the same level not even in terms of like fashion and those things it's just in terms of the influencer industry like in Kenya, we're still battling. We're still battling to be paid. We're still battling CGA contracts and people not paying us for months. Like, it's bad. But yeah, anyway, other than that, I don't take the comments to heart. And for this outfit, I remember it was very last minute because, you know, my therapy is on Thursday. So by Friday, bro, I didn't even have an outfit. I was in the salon dyeing my hair. Started sorting out my outfit on Friday. It arrived, <laughs> it arrived Saturday at 11. Personally, I thought the outfit was cute. Um, I just thought it was cute. I didn't think it was horrendous, horrible. I just thought it was cute. Um, yeah, and then we, I had a bit of an outfit malfunction because I really just like yanked the top violently and the straps for the back came out. I was just there like, oh my God. So I tied it with some white, white ribbon. Oh, I was suffering and then when I tied it with the white ribbon I just put on the jacket because I didn't want like the, me tying it with the white ribbon to show in the back and yeah that was it I feel like I'm really good at like putting together streetwear outfits and I haven't really found my footing yet for like this red carpet events this influencer events and so what I did personally is I just posted the picture of the outfit I wore on Instagram and I posted it on purpose because me it's like I haven't found my footing yet um, and I want to post that picture so that we can just see where I came from we can see the progress we can see everything we can take this journey together guys and so for my next outfit you guys can see like I'm, I'm doing better you know because I know we, we can do better and by we I mean me and like the team because I've used that tailor for the first time and I'm sure and I didn't even go for a fitting um, she used my measurements delivered that outfit I was at the event so I didn't even get to try it on before we didn't make any adjustments so yeah next time definitely i'm not gonna be a last minute girl i'm gonna start early and yeah that's all i have to say about the junior outfit thing guys it's it's 11 11 okay i'm just excited you know anyway finally finally guys we're coming to the end of this life update video so i'm going to be telling you the changes i'm going to be making so first of all let me just tell you the title of this era in my head because i'm such i make myself the main character of my life so much it's funny so this era i'm calling it tamina's new era because genuinely guys i do feel like i'm in a new era finally shifting from the year my mind was stuck in to now i feel like i'm in a whole new era and i'm calling it tamina's new era and i'm excited so we have to make a few changes around here to match this new era so i'm going to be telling you some of these changes so the first change we have to make guys is youtube i want to change my banner i want to change my profile picture i want to change my intro i just need something fresh something new guys so that's what i'm going to do first i think I've, I've already done it so my new video should have my new intro i should already have my new banner i should already have my new um profile picture especially because i've finished university so there won't be as much university content it will be more of my creative content because i'm taking this time to be like as creative as possible in my content creation journey and that's the second change so i always have these ideas in my mind that i never 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 execute for some weird reason i don't know if it's self-doubt i don't know if it's laziness i don't know if it's procrastination i don't know what it is but i always have these ideas in my mind that i never ever execute and it has to change in this new era we're executing all the new ideas and that's what we're going to be doing on here i've written a list of the videos i want to record for you guys on instagram we're going to be doing projects i'm going to be really be working with local photographers videographers makeup artists i want you guys to see me in all my different um like versions and i want you guys to see what happens in my head i don't know if some of the outfits are gonna be too risky i don't know what it is but as i said i don't want fashion to be this scary thing where i'm scared to put on an outfit so yeah i'm excited i'm gonna finally lean into my skills you know i've not been really leaning into my skills let me tell you guys i've been la 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 living life on autopilot so i'm very excited to actually be in the moment and live and actually execute ideas how i want them and not just 
execute and even when they're not high i want them i'm just like okay i'll put it out there you know so yeah that's the new change we're making other than that i think those are the two big major changes but i just want to be in a new era where i'm like reinventing myself and like rebranding and i'm very excited like i'm very excited for you guys to join me and to just follow in the journey as i said as bien said just sharing my story because that's the whole reason i started this youtube channel and yeah i've basically finished uni now like i'm not attending classes we are now waiting we're make, making dissertation corrections we're now trying to graduate you know so that's what i'm doing right now and i'll just be taking the camera with you guys like taking the camera and letting you guys follow along and doing it as authentically and organically as possible like i just want my content to be very authentic to feel very organic and to also show where i am right now um in terms of my mindset and in terms of my life and in terms of my skills so yeah guys um i think that's the updates i don't think there's anything else i can add or say i'm just very excited um to be in this new era to me this new era and can't wait for you guys to follow along so thank you so much for even watching this video alone and for reaching this point if you reach this point comment spotify i'm looking at the pr package they sent me and i think that in itself is a crazy statement because yeah i got a pr package from spotify wow <laughs> anyway um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and joining me in this video. And yeah, bye besties.